Good evening, everyone. It sure is good to see you uh, here in the middle of the week when we have a moment to share and study of God's Word and just to encourage one another together. I want to share a couple of thoughts with you this evening about a phrase that uh, you probably hear uh, maybe a bit more often than we realize sometimes. Um, it's a phrase that's uh, usually uh, shared, or I say usually, it's uh, quite often shared in a way that's uh, perhaps not, uh, uh, not, not very sincere and, uh, and not very genuine, and perhaps even sometimes it's uh, a bit irreverent. Um, but, you know, we, and you may have heard this phrase in some of the movies uh, that have come out. It's just kind of, sort of something that passes us by, I think, at times. But, but the phrase that, uh, that I've heard quite often is, uh, uh, for Christ's sake. And, uh, and oftentimes the folks will use that uh, as perhaps as an exclamation of sorts, you know, when they're making a point. Um, and sometimes, uh, you know, it's used in a way when, when something's going on and they're imploring uh, someone to do the right thing. And so then that phrase is used. Um, but I want to ask the question uh, of us this evening, so what would you do for Christ's sake? And as we think about that, I want to turn to uh, the book of Mark. Uh, eighth chapter and read a portion there that addresses this very subject. But in Mark the eighth chapter, beginning in verse 34, when he had called the people to himself with his disciples also, he said to them, Whoever desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever desire, desires to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and the gospels will save it. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? For whoever is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of him, the Son of Man also will be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. And so these uh, words in, these, in, these, uh, in the scripture here talk about what we are asked to do for Christ's sake. It's a, it's, a, it's a pretty big ask. So we're asked to give up ourselves. And uh, as he says here in the, in the first uh, couple of verses, so one would need to take up his cross and follow me. And then, for, uh, for whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. So we're asked to lose our lives. Our lives are not our own. And, and it's, a, it's a big ask, you know, for us to lose our lives for Christ's sake. So are we willing to do that? Let me ask you another question. So what has... Christ done for your sake? And I think we all know the answer to that one. So many places throughout the scriptures uh, we read about what Christ has done for us. I just want to review one that's all too familiar with us and just remind us in John 3 and verses 16 and 17. The scriptures there say, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son to the world to condemn the world, 
but that the world through him might be saved. And so, yes, for Christ's sake, we are asked to do uh, something very big. We're asked to lose our lives for his sake so that we might gain it. And then, of course, you know, when we think about what Christ has done for our sake, then how dare we, you know, even consider what, what, a, what a small price it is for us to lose our lives for his sake. If you have sin in your lives uh, this evening, uh, that's the thing that Christ is asking you to do, is to lose your life for his sake so that you might save it. So if you have uh, uh, sin in your life this evening, if you have a need to make some corrections in your life, and if you've not obeyed the gospel, uh, tonight is the time to do that. Uh, there's not a better time to make that change in your life for Christ's sake. And if you need to do that, please come as we stand and sing.